Hi guys and gals, Catherine here, and for this video I will be talking about what it's like being raised as an only child. And for some of you who have watched my videos, it may not be surprising for you to learn that I did grow up as an only child, considering my extreme narcissism. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm perfect. Please hang up and try again. All right, so I will tell you three stories that I think illustrates what it's like growing up as an only child. And I say that growing up as an only child because I actually do have a half-sister. She's older than me. She's from my dad's previous marriage. But by the time I was born, she actually already had a daughter. And so she was kind of uh, in her, with her own family and we weren't really raised together. And so I think it's safe to say that I definitely did grow up as an only child. So here are the three stories. I was probably around six years old. I was kicking a soccer ball at our fence in the backyard. I got sick of it, and for whatever reason, for whatever, however a child's mind works, I started looking around at things and at objects in our backyard and jumping over them, seeing how high I could jump. And the things that were in our backyard, I knew I couldn't jump over the fence. That's ridiculous. It was like a five foot and a half fence or a six foot fence knew I couldn't jump over that there were some logs and so I jumped over those but those were super easy and so I was looking trying to figure out what I could jump over to really kind of uh, demonstrate my abilities and I look over and my grandmother is sitting on the grass her her arms are like you know behind her just resting watching me jump over stuff and again, whatever clicked in my head, I thought, all right, you know what, I think it would be a good idea to see if I could jump over my grandmother. And my grandmother, being a sensible human, was like, wait, wait, I don't think that's a good idea. But I reassure, I say, no, no, grandma, I am sure. Did you see me? I just jumped over that log. I took off running, jumped over her. Of course, I did not make it. I hit her, her glasses come falling off. I can't remember the end of it. I think I got in trouble. I'm not sure. All right, so when I wasn't playing sports, I was playing video games. I loved the Nintendo 64. I think that was my favorite console. Maybe PlayStation. PlayStation, that actually, the first PlayStation was up there as well. But for me, at least, since I was an only child and none of my adult family members like playing video games, I often had to play one player game. So Zelda, Ocarina of Time, or Zelda, Majora's Mask, those were mind-blowing games. I played so much. I spent so many hours. I did not know that there were two player games until I think I was in some t at some point in elementary school, I think like second or third grade, I actually got like a best friend. And so I went over, it was a boy, went over to his house and I can remember he brought up like, you wanna play Mario Party? And I'm like, what is that game? Or you wanna play Mario Kart? And I'm like, no, let's play Zelda. And he goes, no, that's, that's a one player game. And I thought, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a one player game. And he goes, well, I wanna play. And I thought, well, I don't know how to do that because I've never played a two-player game. I've always played one-player game. And even now, like, if you look at my, I have a P, uh, PS4, if you look at my games, most of them are one-player games. Or I guess there's the benefit of having online gaming now. But again, I did not know what two-player games were until elementary school, like later second, third grade elementary school. I only knew one-player games because I was an only child. <laughs> I was awesome at those games though. So there's an amusement park that's not that far from my hometown and we used to go to it in the summers and I can remember once I started getting older I, I wanted to be a little more adventurous and so I saw I set my eyes on this one roller coaster. I can remember one time I was there with my mom, my dad, and my grandma and my mom my dad and my grandma I knew they were out <laughs> they did not want to ride any sort of rides with me but I knew my mom my mom's my mom's younger than my dad and she's a little more like a little more hip a little more I don't know uh, adventurous and so she agreed to go on this ride I can remember going up the tallest hill and you know when you're going up the tallest hill there's like no turning back and that's like <laughs> when your anxiety is at the highest because you're like well I can't do anything now I just have to I just have to grit and bear it and so that's what we were <laughs> that's kind of the emotions that we my mom and I were both kind of feeling at that point and I can remember she was trying to 
protect me evidently and so she's like we're huddled in this car and she's like this like trying to oops she's trying to like protect me with her arms because evidently I don't know if she thinks like seagulls are gonna hit me or something or how this is going to protect me in any sort of way but she's like this we go over and somehow my mom evidently loses the ability to control her elbows and she whips me right in like the eye socket with her elbow not the the best to try and explain to teachers and other people why I had a black eye <laughs> because they believe me fortunately saying like well we were on a, a uh, uh, the tornado roller coaster and my mom elbowed me in the eye <laughs> um, if you have uh, any uh, anything to add to this video please comment please share please like and subscribe